pretty nice day today out on the golf course. A little chilly, but we're still getting a lot of melt from um, the sun. Um, it's an interesting visual that always sort of shows up this time of year is what you see on the tee boxes, particularly the white tees, the tees that get more traffic. You can see the front of the 15th tee here is a pretty solid stand of, of bent grass with a little bit of pole mixed in, but not a whole lot. Um, now if we turn over to this area, you can see the lighter turf is POA and that's mixed in pretty heavily into this area. Now you can see the pattern out there and if we turn the camera over here you'll see the reason. The stairs, pretty much everybody comes off the 14th green, parks their cart or walks down the stairs, walks right out onto the tee box and regardless of where the markers might be placed on that day, this is the, the area where most people stand, congregate while they're watching people tee off. And what happens is POA, while it's the weaker plant, less likely to survive, it is definitely the more opportunistic plant in that it will move into voided areas much quicker than bentgrass will. Bentgrass is a slow-growing, hardy turf. And once it gets into an area, it, it, if managed properly, it'll stay there and do well. But on these heavy traffic areas that tend to get just a little bit thin, they get a lot of disturbance from people's shoes and, and whatnot, uh, you'll see POA move into these areas pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So a little more fertility in areas like this. Uh, at the right times during the course of the summer can help to keep these areas with a little more density and also push that bent grass population into these areas. We're always probably going to have a little bit of POA in areas such as this, but uh, with proper management we can certainly keep it to be a uh, fairly negligible amount.